Uh, my days aren't boring. I get to know really interesting people. Um, and I get to help people. And, uh, and actually that's always been a very important goal for me, was to actually help people progress. Coming to the Friends Unit gave me that chance to genuinely help someone that hasn't had much of a chance. It's more one-to-one, -one, it's more personal based with the prisoners, getting to know more of what goes on for them and um, how we can address that. And that was the attraction to come to the Fens unit, um, just to work to work more with prisoners. Uh, so they see white shirts and they're scared. You know, we're, we're historically the people that, you know, bend them up. Being able to show, you've got to be able to show a human side to these people that we're not a black and white shirt, that we have feelings, we have emotions. When they are destructive, they're actually hurting us as well because we're here to try and support them. Challenging prisoners is is actually, it's a very difficult thing to do or it's, it's a very difficult thing to get right because even that word itself, challenging, makes it sound like you're just automatically going into battle. Um, and actually being on here uh, taught me ways of being able to explicitly communicate in a way that doesn't necessarily bring about those sorts of confrontations. Knowing that you you, you want to change inside because it's going to be a, a big emotional upheaval to challenge things that you've never challenged before in your life. Because no one, we're going to help you, but we're not going to be able to do it for you. It's, it's a real... We're going to be with you on the journey, but it's a, it's a real a personal journey. I came on here and learned so much about myself as a person, about what makes me tick, um, about how I feel about lots of different situations, um, how I feel about lots of different types of people, uh, the sorts of relationships I have. I suppose to actually get to this stage of thinking about coming to the Fens, it's, it's why are you thinking about coming to the Fens? What is it? that you recognise in your life that you need to change. Uh, the training kind of opens your eyes to a lot about your own life, which is really helpful because if you can understand parts of yourself, then it helps you to better understand others and the relationships you develop with the prisoners. And facing yourself is the worst thing and the hardest thing to do. And I suppose that's where I've come along on my own journey. In terms of well-being, I feel much more supported than I've ever felt in any work environment. Um, I, I feel like I can approach pretty much anybody, actually. Very difficult, demanding place, but extremely rewarding. And it's the same with watching the guys move on from the treatment programme. Um, you can see how happy they really are that they succeeded at, at something and um, they really feel like they've developed themselves and they're moving on to better things for maybe the first time in their lives. But it's, it's rewarding, it's, it's nice to see at the end of the five year process that people have changed, even if it's a small change that they might not be as aggressive or they might, might be able to talk more or they might be fully reformed and we've seen them being able to uh, progress down to cat D's and ultimately to be released again. For me that's what rehabilitation was about, it's trying to make somebody who's so damaged have a, some sort of happier life.